A new feature in Zoom now allows you to use slides as a virtual background with or without a green screen, like this. And you can move yourself around while controlling your slide deck in real time. It's great if you're giving a PowerPoint or keynote presentation to a group in Zoom. So let's learn how to use slides as a virtual background. First up, this new feature was released by Zoom in early August 2020. So you're going to need to check that you've got the latest version. So make sure you're logged into Zoom and then check for updates in the menu. You'll need at least version 5.2, but anything later than that is fine. I've got the latest version here, but if you don't, you'll be prompted to download and install right here. You'll need a computer that's less than say eight to 10 years old. And you can see if you've met the system requirements on the Zoom help page here. It's a good idea to test this out yourself before you deliver a presentation. So let's just simulate that by going into a new meeting now. So here is how to use slides as a virtual background. You need to come on down to the screen share section then head up to the advanced section. From here, you'll see the feature slides as virtual background. Now it says it's still in beta mode. That just means they're testing the feature to find any bugs, see how people react, but it is a fully functioning feature still. Okay, it says slides. That means you can only share slides. So at this stage, that means PowerPoint or Keynote. Hopefully later on when they finalize this feature, you'll be able to put yourself in front of anything and everything that you want to share. We'll go ahead and click slides as virtual background, then click the share button. And that's where it'll prompt you to open up a file. Now you can search through here to find your PowerPoint or Keynote file, but I've got some prepared here. So let's just click the PowerPoint file. Then when you click open, if you haven't already allowed access for Zoom for PowerPoint and Keynote, it may ask you for a security question here. So just press accept on that. From there, it'll go ahead and open up PowerPoint and then preload the slides into your Zoom meeting. Important to note here is that if your recipients don't have the latest version or at least version 5.2 loaded, they're not going to be able to see you in the corner like you can now. I've just tested this on my laptop, which had an earlier version of Zoom than 5.2. So I had to update that and boom, as soon as I updated, then I was able to see myself in the corner here. So this is where the fun starts. You can pick yourself up, move yourself around, resize yourself to be full screen or down in the corner. So it's much more dynamic and interesting than your regular death by PowerPoint presentation from someone in a Zoom meeting, hey? And up the top, you'll see there's a preview of how I look in other people's gallery view. That's not what they'll see in the presentation mode. That's just what I look like in their gallery view as well. And a bit later on, we're gonna check out how it looks when I'm a recipient looking at someone else's slides as background presentation. Let's now look at how to control your slideshow when you're using slides as virtual background. So down the bottom, you can see we've got the number of slides, one of 13. We've got some arrow buttons here. So yep, actually here's five self-improvement books that I can recommend for everyone out there. So we can see as we cycle through the PowerPoint slideshow, we've got full control. We can go back and forth and you can see all the books that I recommend. And even during a slideshow, I might decide that I wanna move myself over here so that people can see all the writing on the screen and the pictures. So that's a good idea too, to see if you can do that while you're presenting. Zoom has introduced another cool video setting that you can use at the same time as when you're using slides as a virtual background. And it's to help control the brightness of your face. You can use it say when the lighting on your face is a lot darker compared to the background you're using in your presentation. So let's just change a camera setting to simulate a dark room. There we go, I'm comparatively darker than my background now. So what I can do is come on down to video settings. Just check that you're on video here. Then come on down to adjust for low light. And you can see that I've just been brightened up there compared to before. Let's just compare that again. Now it defaults at auto, but you can come over and select manual and then bring it up as much as you want. So that's probably too much there. That's a little bit better. So you can see when we close that, again, I'm a little bit brighter on my face and it's a little bit more even compared to the background. But because I've got the lighting in here already, super nice, and you can learn how to do that if you keep up with watching this channel, then I'm gonna change it back to the original settings. So we'll come back to video settings, turn that one off, and I'm dark, and I'm gonna just crank up the aperture on my camera again. That's better. Okay, next we'll check out what it looks like as a recipient when someone else is using slides as virtual background. But first, if you wanna learn how to use these, wear one of these, and these inside a Zoom meeting, then check out this video up here. Also, if you're getting some value out of this video, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up below. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider subscribing for more great videos just like this. 
Righto, this is what it looks like when I'm a recipient when someone else is using slides as a background. When they pick themselves up and drag them around, you can see the effect that we've got. So we'll just move you down to there again. And as they cycle through their slides, you can see that they'll be able to move themselves around like before if they need to. Let's check out the next book here. The Science of Getting Rich, what a classic that was. So you get the idea guys. I want to mention again that you're gonna need at least version 5.2 for this to work. And of course, a computer that's not too old to be able to use the software inside Zoom. We're gonna do a new share here just to show you that it opens up Keynote as expected. So it may ask you to open up access for this app again, no problem. And it'll open up the app and then load up the slides like so. But probably the best way you can use this feature is if you wanted to record yourself giving a presentation, not necessarily inside a Zoom meeting, but just inside Zoom itself. When you want to record yourself giving a presentation with yourself in the corner of the screen. So all you need to do that as we come up to the next book, The Power of Now, that's a great book about being present, is come on down and just click the record button. You'll see up in the top left, it's recording. And then you can just go about doing your presentation, recording your audio, you're giving a sales presentation, you're kicking ass, you're gonna get that next contract. So that's how you do that. I really like that Zoom has added this feature. I think it's gonna be great to make presentations so much more watchable. And if you're recording yourself giving a presentation, it's gonna make it more dynamic having yourself in the corner of the screen. So well done on the Zoom dev team for doing that. We thank you. Watch this video next where you'll learn everything there is to know about using virtual backgrounds in Zoom without a green screen. In the meantime, it looks like I am stuck with these.